Hey there, Beard again. Today I'm going to show you how to move your logo from the middle of your header over to the left side. Normally when people look at websites, they scan them in a Z over and down. So we that's why you see a lot of logos up over on the left side. You see a lot of call to actions over on the right side because you see the logo first, you see the call to action next. They look at the image that's here and scan content that's right here that says right away, you know, what you can do to solve the problem that your visitor has. You know, give them what they're looking for. And then usually there's another call to action down here. Not always, and there are reasons for doing things differently all the time, but generally that's where it goes. So generally as well, we want to keep things in between these grid lines here so that your site will look beautiful, whether it's viewed on a 27 inch iMac, like you're seeing this on right now, or whether it's on a little skinny tablet. And that's why these grid lines are here. Now to get around, those grid lines because we don't just want to build a website that's down the center of the page with all this white stuff out at the side because that would look stupid. So we're going to use something called strips. Sorry, <laughs> these are sections. We're going to use strips. So we're going to go over here into add elements and I'm going to click on that. And down here we're going to see strips. We're going to drag over a strip. Now, before I do that, let me just make myself smaller. There's a lot of strips you can use. And we'll talk about those another time. Right now, we're gonna just use the plain white one or the plain black one. We're gonna use the plain white one. So I'm gonna drag that one over. Here we go. And it is, as you can see, I'm gonna pull it up a little bit, make it skinnier. And all you have to do to do that is go down to the bottom and drag it up and down like this. And then if you go on top of the strip and click, you can drag the whole thing. Okay. And we'll change the background of it in a second. And I'll show you how to do that. See, it says change strip back on. We could put a picture in the background of this strip. We could put a video in the background of this strip. But right now, we're not going to put anything in it. We're going to make it actually transparent. So I'm going to drag that down there. I'm going to come up here to this image. I'm going to drag the image down. So we've dragged it out. We've dragged everything out of the header. Then I'm going to drag this strip up and see it's attached to the header now. That means that it will appear on every page. And I'm going to go into the, I've clicked on the strip, so that's what I'm working on. That's what this is, change strip background here. And I'm going to go into settings for the strip and I'm going to make it transparent. <laughs> First of all, I'm going to go into here and change the layout of the strip. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to add a column. So now I don't see those grid lines the way I used to, one on either side. I see little grid lines in the column. So you can put stuff here and over in this column, you can put stuff here and it will still, when the screen is squeezed in on smaller devices, these will still show what's in here will show and what's in here will show. Now, so I can take my, actually, I'm going to make it a little smaller. I'm going to take my picture and I'm going to attach it to the column. So instead of only being able to keep it in between these two grid lines, I'm able to put it over here, but I don't really want it just over here. I want it out here. I want it out at the side. So I'm going to take it off again, drag it down and I'm going to go up here into that column, go back into the layout of the column, And I am going to, whoop, that's the strip back into the layout of it. I'm just going to go through that for a second here because here's the strip. That's a strip, right? And so when you're 
working in this, you have to kind of pay attention to what this is saying, because this is me changing things with the strip. When I just click on that, here's me changing things with the column, change column background. But this also says manage columns. And when I clicked on the whole strip, this also says manage columns. So sometimes it can get a little confusing what you're working on. But just look at where these orange lines are, the orange box around it, and what this says right here. So you can tell what you're working on. So I'm gonna come down here into layout and I can align the content. Right now it's aligned in the center. So the, this is where I wanna put stuff, but I wanna align it left. So I'm gonna take it over there. Now I can take up my logo and put it out to the side. And I'm gonna go into preview up here. And now my logo will be out here at the left and it will be viewable on all devices. And that is how you use a column in the most basic way that you can possibly use a column. And that's an introduction to columns. And in the next video, we're going to add some pages to this website and we're gonna add a menu.